Welcome back, horror lovers. Today, we bring you a real-life story which took place in Spain. It all started when a young lady from Vallecas, Madrid, named Estefania Gutiérrez, decided to play with a Ouija board with her friends. The group of friends were at school and decided to try to contact the spirits before class. One of the girls recently lost her boyfriend in a motorcycle accident and thought they could contact him. However, one of the teachers discovered them. She ordered them to stop using that Ouija and go to class. So the friends had to stop short of their Ouija session without finishing it properly. And from that moment, according to Estefania's parents, she started to suffer from seizures and hallucinations. The health of the young lady gradually deteriorated until she had to be taken to the hospital. The medical staff then did all they could to save her life, but couldn't save her. The medical report indicated that she had a sudden and strange death, and that she passed away under strange circumstances. However, the tragedies didn't stop there. Estefania's parents then claimed that a strange event started to take place in their house. So, one night, they called the police to report the creepy occurrences which were plaguing their home. When the police arrived, they noticed it was extremely cold inside. The family explained that the crucifixes they had were moving on their own and that a towering figure observed them from the hall. Then, the father asked to turn off the lights because the strange events took place when everything was dark and quiet. The inspector and the agents wrote down in their police report that they could hear and see how a wardrobe's door, which was shut, suddenly and violently opened and closed again. Then, when they turned on the lights, they heard a loud noise in the balcony. They went to check what it was, but found nobody there. A few moments later, a thick substance appeared on the phone table. Subsequent analysis determined it was a slime from an unspecified creature. Most of the agents decided to then get out of the house and only the inspector and one agent remained. For more than an hour, they both wrote down more points in the report. Estefania's parents then decided to sell their house and the new owners claimed that they never heard nor saw anything strange there. This case was one of the most relevant cases of parapsychology in all of Spain. Do you believe there's still something haunting that house? If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. And if you want to see more Draw My Life horror videos, subscribe to our channel. See you in the next episode.